folks, welcome back to the Rock and Sea Homestead, and today we're going to be making some aged eggnog. I've been looking for some recipes on how to preserve eggs and, and different recipes to use up all the eggs. We've been getting about, about six eggs per day from our hens, and that's just a little too much for Marcy and I to eat every day. So we've been making a lot of deviled eggs, and I think for the holidays during the uh, office parties and then even for uh, Thanksgiving, I think we ended up making like four dozen uh, deviled eggs and still have a couple dozen eggs. So this eggnog recipe is an aged eggnog recipe. Uh, it's using 80 proof or higher alcohol and we'll show you what those three are here in a little bit. And what's bizarre about it, and I've never tried this before but I'm very interested in it, is it actually um, you mix the eggs, the sugar, and the alcohol together and then you age it for three weeks and you don't put it in the refrigerator, you put it in a, in a dry, cool uh, you know, cabinet or, or in your pantry and you let it age and then after the three weeks you process again. So this is part one of a two-part two series on how to make the eggnog. Okay, to start off this recipe, we're going to use one and a half cups of bourbon, which we're using uh, Jack Daniels number seven. We need a half cup of cognac, which we're using Cavassier VSOP. And then we need a third of a cup of rum and we're using the Kraken black spice rum. The recipe does call for a dark rum and that's what I had so that's what we're going to use. Uh, we're going to use a dozen eggs and then we're going to use a one and a half cups of sugar and then once we get them all mixed up we're going to put them in those two jars and set them aside for three weeks and then hopefully after that we're going to have some awesome eggnog. So I found this recipe on Homesteady, Homesteading Family. They have a YouTube channel. And she does some pretty good egg preservation stuff. I'm not quite ready a big bucket of lime in preserving my eggs, but that is one of them. All right, so we got the dozen eggs. Now we're gonna mix in the one and a half cups of bourbon. And of course the alcohol has to be at least 80 proof or higher for the fermentation to, uh, to take place and, and uh, the eggs can be used in that way without having to cook the eggs. This is a half a cup of cognac. And then the third cup of rum. And we're going to mix in the sugar. And then we're going to get out of our whisk and whisk it. So the one thing you got to do is really whisk these things. You want to make sure there's no separation between the yolk and the whites. So this is going to take a while. And I wish I had a bigger mixing bowl. This is sloshing everywhere. So as you can tell, I definitely uh, gave up on whisking it and just went to the blender and it worked great. And I'm hoping it will allow me to pour them into these jars a little bit easier. Okay, perfect. One was enough, awesome. So I went ahead and actually made a second batch and I just put it straight in the blender and it worked fine. Um, so I, me and my son, we really love eggnog. I don't think anybody else does in the family, but we love it and hopefully in three weeks, right around Christmas, the week before Christmas, this is gonna be good to go. We can finish up with the second part. I'll, I'm gonna leave the uh, recipe down below and the one thing that, that the person I got this from on her video, and, and I'll try to link that video in the description as well, is you can use any 
eggnog recipe that you'd like. Uh, she just talked about the one thing that you had to do, and I just want to make sure I'm reading this correctly, is you need 1.5 ounces of 80 proof alcohol or higher per egg. And this just allows uh, the, the alcohol to kill any other bacteria or anything else that's in the eggs. Uh, and the good thing about this recipe is it can be used from store-bought eggs, uh, eggs that's been washed, or just straight that, that, that you got from your chickens. So uh, that's really some good things about this recipe. It doesn't just have to be the ones that, that have the bloom on it from the eggs. Um, but again, thanks guys for coming along. Hopefully within uh, three weeks we're going to do part two and um, have some great eggnogs for the holiday. But again, thanks for coming back to the Rock and Sea Homestead. We really appreciate you watching our videos. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button, give us a big thumbs up, and of course, kick that notification bell so you get notified every time we put out a video. It really helps us. Uh, we really do appreciate you guys coming along and hope to see you on the next video. Bye. Ready for some eggnog in three weeks or so. Happy by Christmas. <laughs>